Mental health continues to take center stage when it comes to today's youth. Lutheran Family and Children's Services has a checklist for parents. We have Ryan Patterson. He's the program manager. He's with us this morning with how you can prioritize your child's mental health. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, so before we get to that, what services do you offer? We have a wide range of services statewide. We have uh, adoption and parenting programs. We have behavioral health, mm -hmm. kind of all over. If your kid needs some help, we can help you. Yeah, absolutely. So you put together this checklist for us. And it, the first thing, talk about communication, keeping that open. Well, the big thing with the kids is, is you need to have an understanding of where they're mm -hmm. coming from. And often we kind of miss the very key point of talking to your kids. But it's important when you're talking to your kids to do it on their level. So sometimes that means literally getting face to face with them yeah. and talking to them in language that they can understand. Of course, younger kids are talking in a completely different language, that of play. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to get on the floor and, and play the blocks with them. Know what's going on in their world. Understand what they're listening to, mm -hmm. what they're playing with and who they're talking to. Yeah, next on the checklist, model diverse feelings. What do you mean by that? Well, kids are going around this world for the first time, and so they might be feeling things for the, for the very first time and not mm -hmm. really understanding what's going, what's going on with their inner life. And so it's important for adults to be able to model for them how to happily um, and truthfully understand what's going on and communicate that in a clear, concise, mm -hmm. honest way. So it's okay for parents to show their kids what it looks like to be sad, what it looks like mm -hmm. to be angry, what it looks like to be lonely and scared. And speaking of feelings, you want to teach responsibility for those feelings. We do, and so that means that we own our feelings. So mm -hmm. we say, I feel sad, but my feelings don't necessarily determine what you feel. So we also don't want to make our kids responsible for our feelings. So it, we have to own our, our own feelings so that we're not sort of imposing our yeah. will upon everybody else. We can all probably do this, but practice healthy coping strategies. That's very yeah. true. A, a, a routine of, of healthy coping every day is a good mm -hmm. idea. So that means eating well, that means uh, maybe a practice of heavy breathing, uh, some exercise, and routines are really important. Structure equals safety for kids. So having yeah. those routines before and after school is a good idea. Next up, use I statements. I statements, that's part of, part of the uh, understanding and taking ownership of your own feelings. So rather than you're making me feel sad or you're blaming somebody else for what's going on, you simply communicate in a very clear way, I'm feeling sad because of X, Y. Mm -hmm. Build positive routines. Exactly. Those, yeah. those were the sorts of things that I was talking about. And a part mm -hmm. of building positive routines means sometimes limiting some of that screen time and having uh -huh. in-person, in <laughs> face-to-face contact. Uh, and finally, because we're running out of time, um, seek, when do you know to seek professional help, to come to someone like The that? first thing that I would suggest is follow your gut. You're going to know your kid better than anybody else. So if you have a suspicion that something might be going on, I'd follow through on that impulse. But otherwise, if your child is exhibiting some behavior that's outside of what you know to be their norm, I might ask somebody else for another opinion on that. Okay, very good. A wonderful checklist for us. Thank you so much, Ryan Patterson, for Thanks. being with us this Thank morning. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate that. All right, time right now is 721. We're going to send things over to Tim.